so we can't really get any more psyched up for this. The new Model 3 performance is set and ready for production any day now. As the team finally wraps up their final bits of testing, you're going to start to see less and less of the prototype models driving around the streets of California all covered up. Especially now that there are entire videos of the new Model 3 performance completely uncovered and in broad daylight. This is all too very similar to the original leak of the Model 3 Highland where it was uncovered in a parking garage and that was eventually found to be completely real. Obviously, this is not what Tesla intended, but in the end, it is really great news because we get a first glimpse of what this new car is going to be. Now, if you haven't watched my last video, definitely go check that out because this is where we get our first live footage of this new performance Model 3 Ludicrous. So in the midst of a launch any day now, Tesla is preparing for commercials to come out alongside the announcement of the new Model 3 performance. As usual, the company is going to drop a bunch of 4K images and videos of the new Model 3 performance ripping down the road. This is all routine for their performance model launches and there is no better place to film a commercial than the beautiful country of Spain. So now, once again, I want to thank Desmond for pulling out his phone and capturing some really incredible shots of this new Ludacris Performance Model 3. Usually, I would expect something coming out of an iPhone 3G, especially when it comes to leaks and prototypes, they always end up being potato quality. But this time around, Desmond was able to capture something, maybe from his iPhone 15 or the latest Samsung. They were in excellent quality and showed us everything we needed to see. The production crew seems to be preparing for additional commercials and additional highlights of the features and upgrades of this car. On top of the beautiful ultra red Model 3 that we saw in the previous video, there is going to be a black Model 3 performance joining alongside it. Desmond once again captured an entire clip of them uncovering this car inside of a garage. You can clearly see here the completely upgraded front bumper with the bottom front splitter and the air ducts on the side. Honestly, black on black with the new front bumper and the new aesthetic changes looks so fantastic, it looks so perfect, I wish this was available on all of the trims. We then also got to see someone getting in the car and driving it off, but unfortunately we weren't able to see any of the other angles, but this is completely understandable as it is already hard to capture any of these footages. So now, seeing that the film crew is already starting to produce the commercials for this new model, it is very unlikely that we are going to be seeing any more exterior changes to this car, at least until the next iteration arrives. Everything you see here is exactly what you're going to get once you order the car and get it delivered in hand. Alright, so enough of the visual differences. The biggest upgrade to the new Model 3 performance is going to be its massive power boost in drivetrain. Although still sticking to the dual motor configuration, this drivetrain is going to be a massive upgrade than anything we've ever seen before. These pair of motors are going to be the ones coming from the Palladium models and are going going to be able to accelerate all the way up to top speed without dropping a beat. At about 700 horsepower, this is going to be the highest performing sedan in its segment with 0 to 60s in the mid 2 seconds and quarter miles in the mid 10s. Now at this point, we can safely call this the Model 3 Ludacris as you can see from the badge that they slapped at the back of the car. And because calling it the Model 3 Performance again will be extremely confusing when you're comparing two different cars side by side. The old Model 3 and the new one is nowhere in the same ballpark. One only has sport mode and the other skipping insane mode and jumping straight for ludicrous. Speaking of ludicrous which is only on certain Model S's and X's, this is likely going to be coming with a ludicrous plus launch mode as well. Looking at the base configurations of the performance model, we are likely going to be clocking in at 680 horsepower with a boost option that you can unlock up to 700 plus horsepower power with an acceleration boost within the app. This is very similar to what they had done in the Model S and the Model X with the P90D and then eventually the P100Ds. So if you guys want some kind of reference, go check those older videos out. So all of this is really mind boggling. This is insane that a car this small can have 700 horsepower to unleash and this is exactly what the team was talking about and what they envisioned when they talked about the Model 3 Performance Ludicrous. There are a few of you that may not think the exterior difference 
differences are enough, but it is really what's on the inside that is really going to excite you. For now, all of us are just waiting for the day it gets announced. I would definitely be keeping you guys as updated as possible on everything that comes out regarding this model. Definitely stick around, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification if you guys haven't already done so. And follow me on Twitter or X at HeyJohnE. You guys can DM me and chat with me over there. If you guys want to support the channel, I will have a Patreon link in the description below. This should be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.